Hey, I'm John Bollinger with Premier Guitar. Today I've got a cool little lesson for you. It's passing chord changes that have kind of a kind of a jazzy application or a blues application. And they not only work for comping chords, but it also works well on a solo. So let me give you the basics. The cool thing about this is I'll teach it to you, but hopefully you'll use the ideas to kind of build on and do your own thing with it. What I'm doing, we're going to start in the key of a, but you can do this in any key, and I hope you do do it in any key. In fact, you should, after you learn this little riff, do it in every key you can imagine so you can, you know, put it to work and start using it. So let's start in the key of A. We're going to be on the fifth fret with a basic, think of a basic A bar chord. But we're just using the triad up top. So that'll be the seventh fret, I'm sorry, the, the fifth fret on your E, your B, and then the 6th fret on your G string. So just that part of the triad, that part of the, of the whole chord. Next, we're going to slide it up to here and just bar this across on the 7th fret. Now what that is really is kind of a B minor, but the reason it works, if you're in the key of A, that's also the ninth of the chord, it's the 6th of the chord, and then a suspended 4th. So you can kind of see how it's all interrelated. These notes work because they're kind of magic little color tones. So really what you're doing, you're kind of going from a one to a two minor, then back to a, back to a dominant seventh. So it's like this. Then we're going to shift to this right here, the third chord in it. And this is really the last part. And this is essentially, think of like a, an open D uh, seven. Like that, only you're building it right up here on the ninth fret. Start on the ninth fret on the E, eighth fret on the B, on the G, the ninth, and then you're gonna pick up your tonic down here in the D string, which is the seventh fret. So your A right there. So the whole chord is. So together it goes a triad there the two triad, which is the B minor, up to your seventh. And we're adding an extra note right, right there rather than just a triad to give you that bottom end. So. And it's cool to kind of slide into it. Then, as the, as the por chord progression goes to the four chord in like a standard, you know, jazz or blues or rock, whatever, you go with it. So now we're going to D. Just the same pattern. Then back to our one. Then to the E. So to use this in a sentence, say you're jamming with a band, bass player is doing like a... Maybe the other guitar player or a keyboard player is doing something like... Well, it would be boring to do what they're doing, so you can do the part of like a horn section. So the bass player is going... go that could actually pass for your solo or could be kind of a cool little thing like a horn section that you could add into a jam uh, over a verse or while somebody's singing or whatever it's just a cool flavor now there's more from there. Take these same, a lot of people build their solos around scales and scales are great. I use them all the time, but there's a lot of players, guys like uh, Les Paul and Mark Knopfler and guys like that, that kind of work around around chords and build their, build their solos out of chords. So just take this right here, this, you know, start with your first triad. 
All we're doing is going just going down with that basic uh, with that basic pattern only adding the tonic on the bottom. And coming back up hitting that 6. You can do that too. See how I go like from the 7th and I keep the tonic where it is, but slide this down. So when you get into this, when you kind of look at, you know, basic jazz passing chords and things like that, it's all about these little color tones. You kind of see how they're all related. And they're not just random notes. They kind of make sense. They ring, they, they catch our ear because they're kind of these magic notes in there. So take that basic pattern. It's your solo, you can start out. And as you play along with these, you can kind of use them differently. Try going down and set up. Try just working part of it for a solo. It's all kind of related. That's basically the same thing. Only you're hitting rather than a seven. You've got your tonic up there. So rather than making your third chord like that as a dominant seventh, you can make it like a, well, like a standard open D pattern. You see, that's got kind of a, I guess, a, a happier sound to it, not the tension of that, of that flat seven. Try it out next time you're jamming with somebody. Try it in every key. Go to G. Go to C. D. So that's just a cool little passing chord thing that you can make part of your vocabulary. So, this John Bolger, play on. Don't forget to sign up for PG Perks, your all-access pass to exclusive gear giveaways and discounts on PremierGuitar.com.